Hello guys, welcome back to Bike Geek. If your PC has been running slow and your task manager keeps showing 100% disk usage, then don't worry. In this video, I'm going to walk you through five simple fixes that actually work, even if you're not super tech savvy. But before we dive into the tutorial, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon. That's the best way you can support us. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is disable Windows Search. Just head over to the Windows Search bar, type in Services and Open Services window. A new window will pop up with a long list of services. To find Windows Search quickly, click on any item and press the letter W and find Windows Search Service. Once you find it, right click on Services window, go to Properties, and if it's currently running, stop it. Then, change the startup type to Disabled then click on Apply button to save the changes, then click OK. Next, we'll disable Superfetch, which is now called SysMain. You can stay in the same services window for this one. Scroll or search until you find SysMain, right-click, choose Properties, stop the service, and set the startup type to Disabled. Again, apply and save, then close the window. After that, now let's move on to resetting the virtual memory. First, open the File Explorer, then right-click on this PC and select Properties. From there, look for Advanced System Settings and click it. Under the Performance section, click on Settings, then switch over to the Advanced tab. Here you'll see the Virtual Memory section. Go ahead and click on Change. By default, Windows manages this automatically, but we're going to set it up manually. So first, uncheck the box that says Automatically Manage Paging File Size. Then, choose the Custom Size option. For the initial size, we need to do a little calculation. Don't worry, it's super easy. I'm using 12.1 GB of RAM, so I'll open the calculator and type 1024 and multiply it with RAM size in GB. I have 12 GB of RAM in my computer. This is your RAM megabyte. Put this value in initial size. In your case, the number will depend on how much RAM you have. Just remember, initial size is always your RAM size in megabytes. Now for the maximum size, we're going to do the same calculation, but multiply by 1.5 instead. So again, 12.1 gigabytes times 1024, then 1 1.5, which gives me 18,585 megabytes. That's what I'll enter for the maximum size. Once you've entered your values, hit set, then click OK, apply the changes, and save everything. After that, close all the windows, and we're ready to move on to step four, running a disk check. To do this, head over to the Windows search bar and type CMD. Then right-click on Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Click Yes to continue. Now, type in CHKDSK space forward slash F space forward slash R and press Enter. It will ask you to schedule the scan for the next restart, so just press Y and then hit Enter and then restart your system to let Windows check and fix any disk errors. In this video, I won't restart right now, but on your end, make sure you do it. This step can fix a lot of hidden issues that cause 100% disk usage. Moving on to step 5, let's turn off unnecessary background apps. Again, open the Windows search bar and type Settings, then open it up. From there, go to Apps and look through your installed applications. I highly recommend uninstalling any programs you no longer use. They just eat up resources for no reason. For example, I'm going to uninstall a couple of apps I don't need anymore. After cleaning up, go back to the Apps section, but this time click on Startup. Here you'll see all the programs that launch automatically when your PC boots up. Disable the ones you don't really need at Startup. For me, I'll leave my antivirus enabled, but turn off everything else I don't use. And that's pretty much it. Once you've gone through all these steps, your disk usage should drop to around 20 to 30%, and your PC will feel a whole lot smoother and faster. If this fix worked for you, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And if you ran into any issues along the way, just drop your problem below and I'll do my best to help you out. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more easy tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.